Oh, <laughs> I choked on my own self here. What's going on, YouTube? It's James with Shyhammer Fantasy Battle Reports, and I'm giving you another battle report today. It is the road to Salamanca, the road to ETC, and uh, this is the ESC round two. Now, game one, I ended up playing against Pete Ritter. I got a small win, and now uh, game two, I'm playing against Team Argentina's captain. I want to say it's his captain. Who the hell's beeping outside? It is their captain. It's Jorge. Uh, I'm not gonna say his last name. I'll butcher it. But anyways, Jorge is a charming seller, and charming seller is Jorge. But he is not the actual charming seller you might know from Universal Battle. If you know the Universal Battle um, charming seller that plays the Rat Army, that is Josu Garcia or Josu, Josu, Josu. I don't know. Anyways, so. Um, Jorge, uh, he, this is a great opponent. The only issue, I'm going to state this out right now. The only issue I had with this game is Jorge speaks very, very, very limited English. And I speak very, very, very limited Spanish. So it was a really hard time communicating during this game. And not only that, I played this guy in ESC. And then I played him again in the ETC. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go over uh, – Just I'm going to leave it on this picture for a moment so you can see the, uh, the armies really quick um, because I didn't take close-up pictures of his armies. I did a little bit, actually. I'll just go over this really quick then. Uh, over here for my magic, I got Cascading Fire, Pyroclastic Flow, Enveloping Embers, and Scorching Salvo. Well, coincidentally, he also has Cascading Fire, Pyroclastic Flow, Scorching Salvo, Enveloping Embers. I have Deceptive Glamour, Raven's Wing, and Bewitching Lair. He got um, Alchemy. He ended up getting the – well, whatever the the signature spell, and then he also has uh, druidism. So he had regrowth, oaken throne, and I want to say it was the regen one, or, or no, it was the one where I think it's the D six hits. I forgot what it is. I don't think it really comes into play to be honest. I I, I questioned the juice crew. I sent him a text message. What's number two? And then they were like, What number two? What? And I was like, Druidism. Anyways, <laughs> I could have just looked it up. I don't know why I messaged him. I don't even know what time it was when I messaged him. Anyways, for his army over here, let's go over what he has. He has a very interesting list here. Um, and uh, let's see. He has a unit of five highborn lancers on the left. He has a unit of bitches with bows, uh, which is uh, about like what? Let's see. 14 bitches with bows. Uh, he has a big block of sword bastards 19 of them with the rending banner then he has another 19 with the gleaming icon he has archers back there there's the other sword bastard unit he has two eagles one repeater crossbow thrower he has a unit of highborn archers and then another unit of big unit of highborn lancers uh he has a bunch of characters in reavers let's see the characters he has a general ass fat scholar an ass fat scholar what the fuck uh, Pyromancy, Skull Splitter, Scepter of Power. Uh, then he has his BSB, that's a commander with the Master of the Canerick Tower, Alchemy and Druidism, both spells. Uh, he has the Bow of Elu, uh, Shielding Scroll, Heavy Armor, and Great Weapon. And uh, basically, that's his army. I'm not going to go over what my army has because you guys pretty much have been watching my armies for a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of jump ahead. So we go ahead and deploy. I think this was Classic. I think this is the only time I played Classic. One of the only times I played Classic. Classic Battle Line. So we go ahead and we line up like so. And what ended up happening is he he played the drop game with me. He I would drop one, he would drop one. I would drop one, he would drop one. So we got to a point where I only had my monsters left and the minute I dropped both my monsters I realized, I realized if I just drop my monsters and take first turn, which I think I do take first turn, um, is he's going to immediately drop everything away from the monsters because his list is not meant to kill monsters. I mean, he does have a lot of sword masters, but he really doesn't have much else. So I was like, huh, this is interesting. Now the one thing, the one thing that bugs the hell out of me, and I was sitting, again, my dad was there. He, I was trying to teach him how, how to play the game. He's still heckling me every fucking game. But he, um, I'm trying to teach him and I'm telling him like, the one thing I'm scared of in this army, well, there's two things I'm scared of in this army. One is that bolt thrower, because that bolt thrower is the bane of Koopa's existence. That thing, every single time it shoots a single shot into Koopa, it has always killed Koopa. The second thing that I am scared of, and I mean scared shitless of, is his alchemy spell. His alchemy spell can one-shot Zod, and that terrifies me. And so, the one thing is, I kind of have to let him get all his other 
shitty fucking spells out. And I'm, they're not shitty, but just I gotta let him get the other spells out so I can always stop that fucking alchemy spell, right? But the good news is he does have a huge array of spells to choose from, so a lot of them won't be as uh, damaging as that one. Uh, he does have pyromancy, though. And pyromancy can hurt. Anyways... Uh, so as you can see, I dropped my monsters actually on the far right side, both of them, and I left Koopa, Zod, uh, the chariots all on the left side, and I put my, my, my forest goblins on the left side. I don't know why I put them this far back, but my whole goal was to run up and try to kill that, uh, war machine. I think they were one of my first drops, and I just kind of dropped them back there and trying to see where he put stuff and leave myself room to put the monsters in front, and I don't know why I put them that far back, though, to be honest. So um, I, I left my common goblins where they have a clean gut to shoot. Same thing with the cave goblins, just got a clean gut to shoot at. And then I kind of kept my uh, chariots behind the, the hill so that way if his uh, bolt thrower doesn't really shoot past and kill my chariots. All right, so that's how I drop. We both go ahead and we start doing our vanguards. You can see my dogs going up the right. We're playing, we roll the dice to see what scenario we're playing. We're playing fucking breakthrough again. Now he has some good models to break through. I do not. Well, let's see how that goes. Anyways, we Vanguard up. First turn. First turn. Orcs and Goblins. I take first. And I just move up the freaking monsters. I move them up aggressively. I'm like, fuck this. Now, if you, as you can see, I have my Iron Orcs on the right side. They're just going to go ahead and move up to that objective on the right side, too. Nobody's really going to contest them at all. Uh, I think they just walk up and stay there. But... Um, I go ahead and I move up Zod. I move up the Chariots a bit. I don't know why I didn't move the Chariots on the hill. Um, I don't remember why. Maybe I was just afraid of the strength three shots. I don't remember. But um, I moved Koopa behind the hill to, to save up a, sh a turn from getting shot. And not only that, if those Lancers decide they want to come this way, um, I could always flee with the Goblins and charge in with Koopa. Uh, but Koopa's kind of protecting those Force Goblins. Force Goblins need to take care of that Bolt Thrower to protect Koopa. That's their deal. That's their that's their hey. I'm gonna help you. You help me. Kind of a deal. Um, and basically, that's how it looks. I'm, I feel really confident in this churn. I feel really confident that I'm just gonna move up and just rah, take up, take advantage. Uh, magic phase. I got my purple dice. Got nine power dice. Go ahead and I do a deceptive glamour on his uh, bitches with bows. Makes a minus one to hit. Uh, he lets it go through. I try to do. I think like an enveloping embers or something like that. And he stops it. <clears throat> then I go ahead and I do a single firebolt because that's all I could do uh, pyroclastic flow into his bolt thrower does two wounds um, go ahead and gave uh, Krom the plus one movement from the deceptive glamour and shooting phase shooting phase I'm gonna go ahead and shoot the cave goblins into these Elaine Reavers they freaking kill two and lose they fail their panic check their BSB is like 13 inches away they're gonna run away run through the units of bitches of bows and end up by the table I think they actually fail their, their rally and they run off the table, which is just fucking awesome. But anyways, it's going to go ahead and start off turn one or, um, turn one, Jorge Elves, uh, the Argentinian Hyboran Elves. Um, so, uh, turn one, he goes ahead and he moves up his Lancers around the hill. He's kind of just kind of cornering my Forest Goblins, which Lancers have a huge movement. And I didn't realize this, honestly, till the second game, not this game, the second game, they have a ridiculous movement. They're like move nine. Um, so he kind of bunkers up. Like I said, those guys didn't rally. They fall off the table. And basically his whole goal right now is to pick at me. He kind of hides his eagles away so he can chaff me in later turns. I mean, he's a smart player. He knows how to play the game well. Um, he's, uh, he's sitting back shooting me, and then he's going to weaken me up for the Swordmasters to go at it. Magic Phase got... What the fuck? I think that's, I think that's the six. So he has nine power dice. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. I think it's a stag. Uh, it's probably bigger on your screen. On my screen, every time I edit it, I edit it in a small, tiny screen. Anyways, <clears throat> he goes in and he does a pyroclastic flow onto my chariots. I have to let it go through. I have to. It hurts my soul to let it go through. But losing a chariot or two is not as important as losing Zod. So uh, he goes ahead and he kills Kogoth, and um, there's no panic. Um, and then, basically, he does, I think, the rest of his dice... I look at developing embers, and that I actually stopped because I realized he has no more dice left. <clears throat> Let's see, shooting phase. He shoots a shit ton of shots from the bitches of bows at my chariots. Doesn't really do much damage. Does it with the archers, doesn't do much damage. And then the bolt thrower missed or killed something random. It doesn't really matter. There wasn't much damage done 
on my units overall in this turn of shooting. The next turn of shooting, I believe it does, but not this one. He does have a Skull Splitter. He does have the Bow of Elu. He's trying to rack up wounds there, but I don't remember what happened. I think the Bishes of Bows whiffed. I think the Archer units were just a little far, and they only could shoot Zod or some art, um, <clears throat> Goblins. Uh, so it's going to start off my turn. Um, Zod and Goblins turn two. Zod and Goblins turn two. I'm going for this. I'm going for this long charge here. Charging in. Zod! Zod is charging the archers. <clears throat> now, he needed like a 10. If Zod got in, <clears throat> I'll overrun it to the Sword Bastards. Now, granted, I will take eight fucking DTs to do this. But if Zod gets into those Sword Bastards, those Sword Bastards are dead. They're de not, not only that, they are not even steadfast in the forest. So I'll hit them, ram a shit ton of them, kill off five of them, and <clears throat> pop them. And then I'll probably take... 12 DTs chasing them, but um, he sees it too, and he's just like, fuck that, and he flees. He flees his archers back, and uh, Zod just kind of redirects, and I think he redirects towards the other sword bastards. It doesn't even matter. He does. I redirect it to the sword bastards. Um, there wasn't much else to do, <clears throat> so I go ahead and again, I move up my spider aggressively, I move up Krom aggressively, I move up the chariots, I move up uh, Koopa to threaten the lancers. I keep my Forest Goblin's out of line of sight of his Lancers right there. Or I think I actually just moved Koopa in front so he can't charge around to get to my Goblins. Uh, my Cave Goblins move up. My Common Goblins move up. My Iron Orcs move up at this turn again. I'm telling my dad, I feel great. I feel like this is a, a, a big win for me. This is a... <clears throat> the, you know, his units are fleeing. I have Pyromancy against a bunch of Strength 3... Or Tough 3 guys. I feel good about this. Alright? Magic Phase. That's like luminous foreboding forewarning there uh magic got four power dice go ahead and i do a i try to do all the dice i think i try to get greedy i think i try to get greedy and do a two dice spell two dice spell and get the small fireball onto his bolt thrower and i i think i failed one and he stopped the other but um yeah <clears throat> uh shooting phase i'm gonna go ahead and shoot baxter and the boys into the sword bastards because i was just like an inch away from getting to the 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 bolt thrower again mistakes that i was making simple mistakes i was making but i go ahead and i kill off two of the sword bastards here and that's all that really happens nothing else happens is shooting because i moved up it's gonna go ahead and start off his turn highborn elves turn two highborn elves turn two so <clears throat> he sees that his bitches of bows in danger so he marches them forward he chaffs the a-rock with the eagle and figures his bitches of bows is safe all right um which technically they are all right um he rallies the archers in the back. He moves the other eagle in front of Zod, which becomes an issue. And basically, this is going to give him one full turn to kill my uh, chariots. As you can see, the chariots have three wounds on one, and the other one's still full health. So he'll pop my chariots, potentially panic Koopa. Koopa's just outside of the leadership range of the BSB, uh, but not of Zod. So at least he gets Zod's leadership. But basically, that's how it looks. Uh, magic phase, he got... Seven power dice goes ahead and he does enveloping embers. And again, I bite my tongue and I look at it and I'm just like, go ahead and do it. And he burns the shit out of my freaking goblins. He killed, holy fuck, he killed 17 or 18 cave goblins. Ugh, and put a wound on my freaking wizard. But you know what? They're meant to die. They're meant to die. Zod is not. Oh, man. Uh, shooting phase, he shoots apart my freaking um, my chariots. Like I said, again, I'm taking less and less pictures on these games because um, I don't have that much memory on my phone, so I'm just trying to make do with what I have. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it's going to go ahead and turn off my turn. Orcs and Goblins, or Zod and Goblins turn three. Zod and Goblins turn three. Woo, I call out the Wog, guys. I think I call out the Wog. I don't think I took a picture of the Wog. So I want to say this is the turn. I call out the Wog, and I'm going in. I'm going in everything. I'm going in with Krom into the Sword Bastards, Zod into the Eagle, A-Rock into the Eagle. Now here's the tricky one. Check this out. I charge the single chariot left into the Sword Bastards because reasons. I think I just want to get some impact hits kill somebody before I die. Um, the Lancers moved around Koopa, but if I charge the Cave Goblins into his Eagle, okay, I will be able to charge my common goblins into the bitches of bows. And you see I'm like, fuck. 
So I have to charge everybody in. I have to charge Krom in. I have to charge Spider in. I have to charge Zod in. I have to charge Cave Goblins in. Krom has to go in to clear out space for the uh, Common Goblins. Uh, the Cave Goblins have to go in to clear out space for the Common Goblins. And the Arak just goes in for the hell of it to kill some chaff. Uh, everybody gets in except for Krom. But Krom did roll a 6 on 1. I think he needed like an 8. And he rolled like a 6 and a 1. 6, 1, 1. Um, so he got in far enough out of the way. Common Goblins get in. Everybody gets in. Now look at the left corner. There is a clusterfuck going on. He, My Forest Goblins are too wide. They are too, too wide to be where they're at. So basically, he's going to be able to see me no matter what. And I cannot, I, have, I am playing with the angles. I'm playing with what I could do. I called out the wog. I got 10 inches to move. And I cannot move them out of line of sight of that Highborn Lancer unit. The big one. So that is just a dangerous, dangerous situation. So I end up moving my Forest Goblin uh, Shaman out of the unit. <clears throat> he is uh, Baxter. He's out of the unit. He's sitting right by the hill. He can't get shot at this spot. But at the same time he'll be safe for a turn or two, right? Um, which could be very dangerous later because he's not in a unit anymore. Um, over here, as you can see, the right side, everybody cleared it. The black horse is just moving towards the objective. Magic phase got five power dice. Go ahead and I do a cascading fire on the common goblins here. Uh, he lets that one go through. He doesn't see it as that bad of a deal. Um, go ahead and I try to do a... I think I did like a fireball or something like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Just the attribute. The attribute hits the freaking lancers here, kills one, whatever. That that happens, right? Then I go ahead and I do a raven's wing. I think I did another spell that he stopped, which was a big spell to kill probably sword bastards or something like that. Anyways, I go ahead and I do a boosted raven's wing, and it barely reaches these guys. Picks them up and moves them. Get the fuck out of line of sight, man. Get the fuck out of line of sight. That's all I had to say. Get out of line of sight. Wow. Did not think that would work. Raven's Wing has become an extremely valuable uh, spell in my arsenal here. Um, go ahead into shooting phase. <laughs> shooting phase. I shoot Baxter into those knights that are right in front of Koopa. Just for the hell of it. I'm like, I don't know who else to shoot. I'll just shoot these guys, right? I kill one. It causes a panic check. They panic and run away from Baxter and run towards the board edge. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to God it caused another panic, but it just did not. It just did not. Um, over here, close combat. Oh, my God. <sighs> I'll just pull up an old picture so you can see the old picture. So he's going to go ahead and swing with the, 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 the bitches with bows. I mean, they're still elves. Even though they're bitches with bows, it's like my archers versus his archers, right? So he goes ahead and he swings. He kills off, like, he kills off two of my shady gits. He kills off two of my guys. I go back and I kill, like four elves like not even that many i think i killed a little bit more than four but what ends up happening is no i kill the back row i kill the back row okay sorry that you guys are not seeing the, the damage yet i so i killed probably like six guys right so i'm winning combat anyways i mean he charged in i got like six wounds he did like five wounds or whatever right but and i got the three ranks three banners I, i'm like oh yeah i got cascading fire up and i go and i it literally i'm not kidding it incinerated the whole front row it popped the whole fucking unit <laughs> oh my god that's brutal oh that was brutal wow all right uh, over here uh zod just pops the eagle the freaking cave goblins reform into smaller uh, size because they can and um over here impact hits i kill i think i whiffed i think i killed like two guys he no, I killed more than two. Holy shit. Holy shit. I killed six. Six guys. But he's going to just rip a shred apart my freaking chariot for doing so. Uh, and it's going to go ahead and start off his turn. Uh, Highborn Elves turn three. I lost count. Three, four, somewhere around there. So he charges these sword masters into my common goblins. And I know for a goddamn fact this is a mistake. This is a big mistake if I try to fight them. So I'm like, flee. Fuck that shit. I'm getting the fuck out of Dodge. Uh, so I think he redirects into Krom. I want to say he redirects into Krom. Uh, he charges. Now, this one I got confused again because there's this language barrier. And this one actually causes costs me dearly because if I would have known, I probably would have thrown my fanatics elsewhere. Um, he decides to charge his character out of the unit into my cave goblins. I thought he was shooting or charging his whole unit in. So I throw out my fanatics. I throw out the Conado. 
throw out the Kaunado and the and and uh this other guy, this ballsy motherfucker over here. And I go ahead and I throw him like this, so he cannot avoid not hitting my unit with his unit. But the problem is he's not charging his unit, he's charging a single character. That single character fails anyways. Alright. Uh yeah, the other guys went for Krom. I if I would have known I would have thrown him straight into the front of Krom. So that way he lands those guys into Krom and pops freaking, you know, twenty freaking or yeah, forty six worth of of uh yeah, it would have been like ten or twelve um dead sword bastards on the right side there. That sucks. That really sucks. If I would have known it was just a single character. <sighs> Anyways, Magic Phase got he got six power dice. He goes ahead. Uh, don't have what he did. Now, if you could see, he moved his Sword Master unit into the ruins. He just figured out he's gonna get shot at. He's not gonna deal with it. He's um he moved his general far back on his own out back that way, and I think it was just because he saw Zod coming and he just didn't feel like he had the the tool to deal with Zod, and Zod would pop those units. So he starts using the archers to kill the fanatics. He kills both fanatics. Um, he oh this guy did get in. My bad. This guy totally got in. Snuck in. Kills my freaking uh, witchcraft guy, uh, uh, the prophet. And then I stick because I'm steadfast. I end up putting a wound on with the cave goblins just because of the hell of it, right? Uh, these guys over here they don't kill Krom. But they made Krom run, and when they made Krom run, they overran towards my common goblins, which is a very, very, very scary situation for me. It's going to go ahead and start off turn four Zod and goblins. Turn four Zod and goblins. My common goblins failed to rally. All right. Zod charged into the archers up that way. Again, I'm just trying to get Zod out of um, al alchemy range. I want to be into somebody in general. I move the spider this way. Oh no no, I charged Zod into the sword masters. He actually fled behind through the ruins behind his freaking bolt thrower path popped out that way. Um I moved Koopa to to hold the lancers on this side over here. Move the forest goblins up. I think uh Baxter rejoins that unit. Uh and then I use my wolf riders to chaff his sword masters from getting into my uh common goblins gives my common goblins another chance or two to rally which is really needed right now um i don't know why i moved my spider the way i did this is a very odd situation for me there must have been a reason why i did this oh to threaten the guy who's threatening the the cave goblins i think anyways uh magic phase got eight power dice go ahead and i do a cascading fire he stops it um <clears throat> Uh, and then I start doing, I, I realize that his guy up there, his general, I ask him, I go, hey, what is his war save? Now this went, this conversation lasted about 20 minutes. I am not fucking kidding you. This conversation and the next conversation that happens lasts about 20 minutes because, again, it's a language barrier issue, okay? Now he's been shooting me with this guy who has a skull splitter, might I add, okay? And he keeps on calling it a skull splitter, okay? Because... He, you know, he, he, his English is in his native language, all right? So when I tell him I'm doing a skull splitter back, he's like, what? What? That wasn't the real question, though, the, the, or, or the issue, though. The issue here is, in Spanish, my, I'm ex, my dad there, I go, Dad, can you ask him what his armor save is? My dad asks him what his armor save is. Then he, I ask him, what's his ward save? And my dad goes, I don't know what the hell a, a, mech, a Spanish word is for ward save like what's a ward save and then everybody at the table around us is like what's a ward save in spanish i don't know how to say a ward save in spanish nobody knew how to say a fucking ward save in spanish for the record i found out the hard way it's called a special like a special save <laughs> anyways found out this guy's butt naked when i found out this guy's butt naked i just unloaded all my pyromancy spells onto him this is his general right here i got freaking two wounds off i'm thinking this is alchemist i'm gonna fucking kill him fuck this guy don't have to worry about zod dying anymore zod don't give a fuck about archers over here i'm gonna kill him so i get two wounds off over here uh with uh i think it was the cascading fire attribute then i go ahead and i shoot all the shots with the skull splitter right into that general pop that fucking general fuck that guy Fuck him, right? So, um, close combat. Zod destroys that unit. I don't even think I chased him. I think I let him run off the table on his own. And then, I think that's about it. Uh, it's going to start off his turn. 
Highborn Elves turn 4, Highborn Elves turn 4, or 5. Whatever whatever the number says on the bottom is correct. Whatever I'm saying might be wrong. So he has to charge these guys to get them out the way, which, of course, they're going to get into. He charges this guy into Koopa! Koopa don't care, though. Koopa doesn't care. He wanted this fight this whole fucking game. Let him fight him. All right? Um, and then that's going to happen. That's going to happen. Now, his other guy, as you can see, punked my goblins because Zod was so far away. Right? Zod turned this way to chase the, the sword bastards that were running off the end of the table. He he moved these other guys out of line inside of uh, Zod, but not technic, not the A-Rock. Uh, and then the other guy decided to chase the, the cave goblins this way, which is fine. I mean, that's what happened. The cave goblins died, whatever, right? I didn't kill that last wound on him, right? Magic face, he gets three power dice. Three. Okay? Which is... If you know anything about magic phases, you know three is a great number, which means you have a better chance of stop it or doing your spell while your opponent has a worse chance of stopping you. Well, I'm like, haha, I killed his alchemist, and he's like, what? That was the pyromancy. And sure enough, it was the damn fucking pyromancy. He fucking uses the alchemist, all three dice, to hit Zod, does the fucking whiplash, gets him. Now, here's the other 20 minute conversation we had. I'm like, dude, he did a D3 hits, which he maxed out. He got a, a 6, right? So now he has 3 plus 1 hits. He wounds on 2s, because Zod is a 1-up armor, and he has to reroll for Bluffer's Helm. He thought it was just the 1 hit multiplies the wounds D3. And he's like, you're dead. And I'm like, no, you got to do it again. Oh, yeah, 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 Bluffer's Helm. He rolls it again. And I was like, no, 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 you're not understanding. Holy shit, this conversation went on for like 20 fucking minutes, dude. Oh, my God. It doesn't even matter. Zod died. He did three wounds. I'm like, ha he failed one. I'm going to live. And he goes, you took a DT. You're dead. I'm like, motherfucker. Motherfucker. That was a huge, huge swing. That was a huge, huge swing. So, um... He shoots the bow of Elu into these fuckers, kills off two of them. He uh, kill these guys eviscerate my freaking wolf riders, and then um, over here, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god, Koopa whiffs, and I mean Koopa whiffs. So this guy has a charge and a rank. I lose com and a banner. I lose combat. I run. He chases. Koopa gets away, but it doesn't matter because these guys are holding the breakthrough objective now. So it's going to start off by turn Orcs and Goblins turn 4 or 5, somewhere around there. I charge the spider into these chumps. They flee. I think they terror check, to be honest. Uh, run into the uh, ruins. They take a couple casualties. Now, as you can see, I think this is my magic phase, too. Yeah, it was. As you can see, I move uh, Baxter this way. I never rejoined Baxter with the Forest Goblins. Don't know why. But I figure I'm going to kill his BSB right now. I'm going to shoot him with the freaking skull splitter. I'm going to do some pyromancy. The one real threat here is the sword bastards. They're still going to... I don't even... I think I rallied my uh, common goblins and I made them super thin. I think I did. Anyways. But he, he, I'm out of line of sight at the moment. So magic phase. I go for an enveloping embers. I get it off and I just burn off like... Like a... Not even that many. Motherfucker. I killed like seven. Seven sword bastards. Uh, didn't kill his BSB, which I was really trying to. I think I just whiffed. I think the skulls better rolled like a one, one, two, two. Uh, it's gonna start off his turn. Oh, there we go. We got a number. Highborn Elves turn five. Highborn Elves turn five. <sighs> this is why I popped back Baxter out. I had to turn these guys around to save Koopa. So these guys turn around. He, he goes ahead and he charges, and I throw fucking forty tomahawks. Doesn't even fucking matter. I, I think I did a wound, and he just armor saves him. Um, so he. Makes the guy with the bow of Elu join the unit of sword bastards, and he basically turns like this. I think his other sword bastards live because I never got to push him off the table. Magic phase, he got six power dice, uh, and I don't think it really, really mattered. I think he only has an alchemy spell and a druid spell. He tries to do the druidism spell uh, to raise more bodies on his guys, and I stop that. Um, he punks my forest goblins. They run this way, but they don't. He doesn't chase because he needs to stay inside the objective. He needs to stay in the inside of the objective, which is fine because it's going to start off my turn. Orcs and goblins turn six. And guys, I'm going to give you a five second warning. If you don't like me screaming, screaming Koopa, I'm about to scream Koopa. So five, four, three, two, Koopa! You fat bastard, go in there and fuck these guys up, man. You gotta fuck them up, Koopa. You have to fuck them up. You can't whiff twice, you fat, fat fuck. Now, 
Um, I go ahead and I'm just like, fuck this. I'm gonna light these guys up. I don't even, I don't even think twice about it. I rally the forest goblins. I move the A Rock this way. I move the skull splitter this way. I move the common go. I don't even move the common goblins. I have them all lined up where I'm just gonna shoot all the shots into the sword bastards. And you should have seen his face, like, ah, shit. Magic phase. Go ahead and I do a boosted, and I mean a boosted, a mega boosted pyroclastic float, and I just boom. <laughs> fucking take out pretty much the whole unit minus three guys oh my god um that's all i really got off shooting phase i just unload the unholy hell kill off all the sword masters because i knew that was 500 points and i he healed a wound on his bsb with the freaking druidism oaken throne and uh he i think that guy fucking lives i think he lives what a fucking asshole he lived oh my god how how Jesus Christ! I think he had like a two-up armor or something like that. I, I, let's find out. I have it right here. Uh, I think he only has like a four-up armor. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is bullshit. How do he live? I don't understand it. Uh, all right. Over your close combat, Koopa kills off one guy. Koopa has cascading fire on him for some reason. Uh, kills off the, the. I think it was a challenge from the champ. Kills him off. Um, they stick because they're steadfast. Um, and then his turn six he moves that fucker looks at my wizard gets magic phase off and kills my fucking wizard <sighs> all right now granted i'll leave you back at this picture kill the sword bastard unit kill a couple archer units kill this war machine eventually i don't even remember when i killed this war machine it was probably a magic spell um and kill the highborn lancer unit we're both contesting the objective unfortunately koopa didn't do his job and kill that unit off um, which ends up becoming after after he killed Zod. If he did not kill Zod and Krom, the the points would have been extremely different, extremely different. All right, and that was my fault. That was my. There was two mistakes there. One of them was the fact that I had um, I, I didn't use the fanatics to protect Krom. That was a huge mistake. Um, and then the other mistake was not uh, keep putting Baxter outside of the unit, but overall ugh, it was a 10 10 guys it was a 10 10 this one should have been a big win I, I i left this game with a sour taste in my mouth and my dad's like what's up you did okay you did okay and i was like no nah, i should have done better he got zod stupid alchemy i hate alchemy ah that was bullshit bullshit such bullshit but uh you know Zod, zod's impervious to a lot of other things alchemy's not one of those things and I killed the wrong wizard. I thought I killed the right one to have alchemy on it. But it was, like I said, that language barrier was a tough thing to get around. Uh, we'll get a rematch on ETC, at ETC, so that game will, will be different. Uh, maybe. Maybe it won't. <laughs> but guys, uh, I gotta say my MVP in this game hmm, was not Koopa, definitely. Uh, ooh, I like the witchcraft. I think it did good. Uh, the common goblins. I think I gotta give it to the common goblins. Common goblins killed, and I think this is the third game in a row. I gave it to the common goblins or something. No, the A Rock got it last game. But common goblins killed his uh, queen's guard, the bitches of bows. Killed his sword master unit. Freaking eviscerated him. The only other one who gets honorable mention here is Baxter, because Baxter just killed the war machine, killed majority of those sword masters, and potentially all of them actually. And um. Yeah, Baxter was a big threat. I actually will give it to Baxter instead. Baxter's probably more deserving of MVP. <sighs> the spider, unfortunately, never got into combat, which is just odd. Uh, co constantly got avoided uh, throughout the game. Urgh, that's that's a big mistake. That was a huge flaw by me. Um, but using all the bow shots, even on the spider, to kill his sword bastards was funny because you see their face like, oh shit, that thing shoots too. <laughs> Uh yeah, and I, I didn't use I didn't utilize the force goblins properly. I should have used the for, force goblins to punk some sword masters as well, uh, but they kept getting stuck by those knights. The knight units were really an issue. I could have used the black orcs to absorb the the shots from the alchemy of Zod and then had them in that unit. But overall, they got they held the objective. Koopa was supposed to clear out the other side, and it never happened. Uh, anyways, guys. Hope you enjoy this. I actually got to get to work in like a minute, so I'm just going to speed by through this and leave you on this picture here. This is my next game. I'm playing a Bloodthirster list, Demons of uh, Demon Legions uh, against a Spaniard player. <clears throat> I'm 
But, uh, yes, and my cherries are in the water. I'll explain it later. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I, I enjoy making them. If you guys can, hit like and subscribe. If you guys um, already like and subscribe my videos and you guys want to show any support, you can always go on to my Patreon. My Patreon link is going to be down below. Anything helps. A dollar to five dollars to ten dollars. It's going to help for uh, me to recover from this trip that just destroyed my bank account to helping me. Uh, on my next trip to Croatia for ETC next year, if if the team is going to be able to go, um, but uh, it, it, it's a big if right now. That's a that's a hefty cost. I got to recover from this trip, uh, but if I'm able to do it, I will definitely do it. Uh, just because I, I I love making these videos, and this was a fun 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 experience, guys. And uh, I I will not take that away. It was a great experience. Great experience. Have my own team there have my dad there have my brother there it was a great experience overall um and then i get to meet so many people but uh guys like i said i gotta hurry this up because i gotta get to work um so it's a 10 10 my next game it's gonna be a rough game and not only that but we had a time limit and i'll explain in the next game as well but we only had an hour and like 20 minutes to play this game i am not shitting you because of that giant fuck up on day one on the beginning of day one so it cuts our time in half on this one, which is just brutal and stupid and should not happen. But with that being said, I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I don't know why else I'm going. Leave comments and, and feedback down below. I always appreciate that. I hope this one was a lot smoother than the last game. I apologize to Pete for our game being so choppy. I apologize to Jack and Willie or Jack and Jack, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even think about that. Um, for uh, for my games being so choppy with about them, but I hope you guys are enjoying these, and I will be back next time with my demon game. And guys, I'll see you next time. Take care, and peace. I want to say that's it. Set MVP and all. Yep. All right. Peace.